was at school when it was bombed. Some of the children were killed. We all ran away. I was running fast on an endless road. With my siblings, we were running back home, seeking protection in my mother's arms. When we saw the bombing of the school, we thought they bombed all schools all over the world. Finally, I was home. The bombing stopped for a while. Mom served lunch. I ate, drank a glass of water, then went into my room with my notebook and pen. I wanted to do my homework. All of a sudden, the bombings resumed. I dropped both my pen and my notebook, and I hid under the table. I thought it might protect me. I left home. I left my school bag, my notebook, my pencils. I didn't finish my homework. Little by little, home is fading away, as well as the pomegranate and the lemon trees and the jasmine bush in my garden, our neighbor's house, my grandfather's house, my friend's house, all fading away. God, what happened to my country? Since that day, my exile started. This young girl has a name, of course, but um, revealing her identity might place her and her family in danger. However, Oxfam has established a video link with her in, in Lebanon, so she'll be able to um, share this evening with us and to witness her words expressed to an international audience a half a world away. So I'd like to say this to her. Your words matter. Words matter. You're the girl that I'm here for tonight. And this is your poem. When I take my pencil and notebook, what shall I write about? Shall I write about my school, my house, or my land, of which I was deprived? My school, when will I visit you again, take my bag, and run to you? My school is no longer there. Now destruction is everywhere. No more students, no more ringing bells. My school has turned into stones, scattered here and there. Shall I write about my house that I no longer see, where I can no longer be? Shall I write about flowers, which now smell of destruction? Syria, my beloved country, when will I ever return back to you? I had so many dreams. None of them will come true. All I want is to live in my country in freedom. Syria, my beloved country, I love you. <laughs> 